This is the Eclipse 9800 WC permanent 2 inch automatic flushing device for warm climates. It provides excellent above grade adjustable flushing velocities up to 150 gallons per minute. It features a 4 inch air gap for backflow prevention. The 9 volt battery operated handheld controller allows users to program multiple daytime duration flushing sequences while the 2 inch solenoid operated diaphragm valve opens and closes slowly to avoid water hammer. It has a built-in sampling point and features a 2 inch FIP inlet. The Eclipse 9800 WC has an optional decor basket that fits inside the 6 inch outlet. The handheld controller can be programmed for up to 12 flushing cycles per day with a maximum of 6 hours per cycle. Water flushes into a 6 inch discharge pipe and is directed to a sanitary or storm sewer, a culvert or a drainage ditch as seen by this graphic illustration. Flow can be adjusted above ground by turning the flow dial on the front of the valve. As you can see, the solenoid operated diaphragm valve automatically opens and closes slowly to avoid water hammer issues. Occasionally, debris will get caught in the diaphragm inside the valve. When this happens, the unit will not close completely and may trickle water. To do maintenance on the Eclipse 9800 WC, shut the water off to isolate the unit using a curb stop. Pull the sampling bib away from the valve and unscrew the arm support. Loosen the quick disconnect arms and the flushing arm support and remove the entire valve assembly and take back to the shop. To do maintenance on the valve, first unscrew the solenoid from the valve. Next, unscrew the bolts on the valve face. Open the valve carefully and remove any debris around the outer ring. Then remove the diaphragm and clean away any debris around the edge. Be sure also to clean any debris around the diaphragm seat inside the valve. Finally, using a common paper clip, clean out the hole in the solenoid opening. Once clean, reassemble the unit, making sure to line up the diaphragm tab with the seat. Cupferly recommends that you flush the line thoroughly before reassembling the unit in order to remove any additional debris. Reassemble the valve and replace the flushing assembly onto the quick disconnect housing and resecure. Now you're ready to turn the water back on.